Hi everyone. So in our previous sessions we have learned how do we identify the elements. How do we identify the elements on different browsers. What are the add-ons that we require and the different approaches of uh, object identifications like ID name, class name, XPath, etc. and different approaches of XPath, etc. So we are done with the first part of our learning. Second part is the initial project setup that is required when we want to start learning. So first important point you need to remember we are going to create a simple Java project. This is for our learning. The real time project doesn't look like this. The real time project is done using Maven. We will be learning in later sessions. But for learning Selenium commands we are going to create a simple Java project. What are the different things required first? For our, first, first JDK, next Eclipse, then TestNG, then Selenium jars, then Selenium jars. Next, uh, some other jars. Okay, so these are all the things that are required as part of our initial setup for learning Selenium commands. Again, I'm just telling it's not a real time project. Okay, so the first thing go to google.com and type download JDK. Always take the latest one JDK. Okay, so I'm just clicking download JDK Java because we are going to learn Selenium using Java. That's the reason I am taking this particular Java. So Java SE kit 8. It should be Java SE. Remember it's not Java JRE. It's Java SE which you need to download. In the present generation all the operating systems are 64 bit. First select accept agreement then click on download of x64. Just click on download x64. Okay so I'm just downloading it so it gets downloaded once it is downloaded okay so just go to Google as it is getting downloaded download Eclipse download Eclipse always remember we require Eclipse IDE for Java E developers Eclipse IDE for Java E developers select that and we are taking Java 64 bit so Eclipse should also be 64 bit just click on download over here so just download it okay once this is downloaded okay so just download it already I have it in my computer so just that's the reason I'm just not downloading it once that is done download selenium download selenium so just click on downloads and again download the selenium java version here you are seeing different different languages versions just download the selenium version okay so just download it okay once I'll just download this as well for our understanding so I have downloaded this so next download testing because we are going to use testing as a test framework to down to learn selenium there are two famous APIs in Java for selenium for not selenium for Java what are those Java as a test and J unit so I am using test ng because test ng has many advantages over j unit so that's the reason so i'm just downloading this as well so simply i'm just taking the website java 2s to download this so i'm downloading this as well so we also require another jar file called j commander so i'm downloading the j commander because uh, test ng is dependent on j commander so i'm downloading that as well so that is also downloaded over here so we already have all the things so show all downloads first click on JDK double click on it once you double click it will show you a pop-up just click on next 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 and it will give you Java is successfully installed Java is successfully installed once you install Java where can you check go to this PC C drive program files 
because we are using 64 bit java it will be installed in program files if it is 32 bit java it will be installed in x86 you don't know which com which what is your version of what is the pro uh, your computer operating system okay so which bit it is when you right click properties here you can see 60 bit 64 bit operating system okay so that's how you will come to know okay so just program files under that you will see java take the path of jdk not jre jdk and take the path till bin copy this path again right click on my computer properties advanced system settings environmental variables new new and in capital letters write java underscore home in capital letters write java underscore home and paste what you copied remove it at the end in java underscore home it should be till before bin then click on ok once you click on ok you'll be able to see like this okay so once that is done under system variables there is a predefined path variable you don't require to do it there will be a path variable select it edit and click on new and paste it paste it so once you paste it you will be able to see why we are you have to paste till before bin you should not paste sorry i am very sorry you should paste till bin you should not paste till before bin don't delete here you sh it should be till bin okay so here i again already pasted it so here you see so once you paste it once you click on new paste it a new row will be coming just paste it and click on ok 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 how would i confirm the java is configured correctly or not go to command prompt and just type java c type java c once you type java c you should be able to see this particular list if you are getting like this that means java is configured correctly in your computer if not it will throw an error java c is not a recognized internal or external command that means java is not configured correctly so make sure java is configured correctly once that is done once that is done try to extract your eclipse from downloads copy to any in your computer just try to uh, take it into any folder and once that is there just extract it under that you will be seeing a icon like this a small icon like this okay so just click on it and double click on it for the first time when you are opening it it will be taking uh, some time for you to do the initial configuration setups because I am just closing it because already I have it in my computer okay so once you extract it open the folder under the folder you will see a icon like this just double click on it for the first time initial setup it will take a minute or two to do the initial setup in your computer okay so once that is done double click on it and eclipse will be opening a default workplace will be there it is up to you if you want to give the same name or you, you want to give any name just give it and click on ok so again once you click on ok for the first time it will take one minute or two to do again the initial setup okay once that is done your eclipse will be opening a welcome screen will be there just close the welcome screen on the top you will see file just click on file new you will see java project if you don't see java project click on other and select the java project this is a simple java project we are not doing a real time project okay so give the selenium project name selenium training any name you want to give selenium training okay so just click on next then click on finish okay so now we have created a simple java project we created a simple java project under that you have a src folder so java structure is like this project name folder name under that package under that package so packaging standards are there in java 
you will learn when we do a real time project so as of now i am giving the package name as com.selenium.training we should follow some packaging standards that i'll tell you okay so package under this you are going to create multiple classes so java classes will be created over here okay so now once this is done the first thing in the eclipse you need to do is go to help eclipse marketplace and add the testng add on and add the testng add on so it will take a minute to load everything after that just type testng test ng and click on enter okay once you click on enter you will be able to see test ng for eclipse you will be able to see test ng for eclipse so here already in my eclipse it is already installed so that's the reason i'm seeing install if it is not you will see like install just click on install it will ask for i accept agreement select the radio button for i accept agreement for your sake i'm just adding this j unit helper which is not required but just for sake i'm adding it so that you can see what next happens and all those things okay so i accept agreement and just it will ask for next click on next then click on finish once it is it will give you installing software some blah blah stuff over there then you will get this like this click on okay that's it it will be installed this add on will be added to your works eclipse so any number of projects that you create the test ng will be available for your pro, for your total eclipse so now it will ask for restart of your eclipse just click on yes once you restart your eclipse ec the test ng will be available okay once that is done you should add the selenium jar files for your project okay so i downloaded the jar files into downloads i'll just go to downloads here i'm able to see selenium test ng j commander okay so i'm just copying all these three on to desktop into a folder called new folder and i'll give them as jars and giving them as jars okay and just pasting it over here and i am extracting all of them extract here extract here extract here so all the three are available now right click on the project build path configure build path to add the jar files for your project build path configure build path here click on libraries add external jars and go to the path where the jar files are saved so first selenium's client combined node ops add external jars j commander add external jars test ng add external jars go to lib select all open all the jar files are added just click on apply click on okay now you have the project setup where you have the jar files added so just let me create one simple java class to invoke the chrome browser so class invoke chrome okay so invoke chrome in the next session you will be knowing all these things so just to see whether everything is working fine or not i am just adding the program for invoking the chrome browser so we already have another video where it covers how to invoke the browsers don't worry what am i writing over here okay so at the rate test public void chrome program so now i'll just add some piece of code from the previous projects that i have just to show you that we are already all set to start with the project so these videos are covered in our other videos so don't worry what pavan is writing over here so just let's run it and see whether 
our new project setup is working fine or not. Yes, the browser got invoked. So this is how we perform the action of invoking a browser, okay? Uh, doing the setup and all those things. So invoking browsers and all those things are already covered in other, our other videos, okay? So this is what the initial project setup that we require to learn Selenium commands, okay? Thank you.